Wait, who's it again? I'll leave. Hello and welcome back to Triton Cup. I am Weave, joined here by the one, the only spy. And we are once again watching Chew It's Mafia. This time they are up against 1,500 V-Bucks. <laughs> I don't know how much that is in actual, like, real life dollars. I don't know the conversion, but... They have them. They have them all. And we're going into Splat Zones on Mika Mart here pretty soon, it looks like. Yeah, and I feel like for clarification, I think that's like $12 or something. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> I've played Fortnite like three times. But anyway, we're going into it. I fully expect that, uh, you know, Chew It's Mafia is going to keep that same comp. And they do Double Splash Machine and Bow against uh, Double Splash Machine and Stamper. So a slight variation on the same thing. We'll see what comes out on top as we go in here. Already, it uh, looks like there's a big scrap in mid. Uh, seeing whoever caps the zone first, seeing whoever is going to be able to get that hold first. You see, uh, you know, a lot of specials are going to be coming out. 1500 V-Bucks uses theirs a little bit sooner, uh, so their crab gets displaced. A little bit early, but they do get two picks, three picks. Uh, is just snipes on the field, and 1500 V Bucks is going to be, make quick work on moving and and getting a hold set up. Yeah, and that's what Tana Simpers is kind of sharking at that, um, uh, you know, the ledge, and just trying to get some picks, like being kind of sneaky. And we really, we really just see it uh, being on the left side of uh, of the street, and the machine is also just starting to get in. While it does have its Boya bomb, and it also got a pick. But 150 V Bucks really tries to keep that zone theirs by using that um, one try strike. And again, the machine is actually trying to get a pick, but it's actually being picked off by another person. And the splash, the Neo splash on the side of 150 V Bucks is fighting for its life. And we see another crab tank on the side of 150 V Bucks. They just really want to haul out their space and get even more picks so they can just kind of work off the penalty. You really think, I think the name of the game for 1500 V-Bucks is just how well they're using your specials to completely deny uh, Chuot's Mafia any space. That bow is forced to be jumped out and it's basically another wipe. So they're going to get another chance to push even further. Their penalty is done. The points are ticking and Chuot's Mafia is starting to run out of time. We're only a minute and a half in, but we're only about, what, 15 seconds away from uh, KOing? It's only the splash on the zone and Chuot's Mafia is able to rebound, but it's just so much pressure is going coming out from 1500 V-Bucks, and I don't doubt that with this crab tank that they just got charged, they're going to be able to, you know, do something special and get back out on the field in no time. Yeah, and right now the machine is, of course, trying to get a pick. Well, the Sultana Sembers is kind of being distracting here, and we see the Zipcaster use. Please, do some Spider-Man action. <laughs> Please do some Spider-Man action. Wait, okay. That was kind of fun, though. And 150 V-Bucks actually got the recap, and the crab tank actually went down. So now Chewitz Mafia has some like 30 seconds penalty there's someone jumping there I feel like they're gonna be picked off but that splash is actually sharking the machine so they get picked off and the splash also almost almost has um, their special ready and 150 V-Bucks really is just working off their penalty right now as we see and Chewis Mafia has three specials on their side right now and we see the crab tank we see the um, kill away 5.1 to uh, no not to it wait 150 V-Bucks is uh, countering with another crab tank, and just like that, there's a big fight going on in mid, and Chewitz Mafia actually got the recap. Yeah, uh, uh, just in time too, of course. 300 V-Bucks is slowly, slowly taking down the timer, taking down the production. But two down, uh, Tri Strike's kind of wasted there, not really getting a ton of value. Chewitz Mafia is still holding the zone. There are two, they are two down, and uh, it looks like 500 V-Bucks are four up. It looks like uh, Snipes is gonna get a beautiful, beautiful pick on that Zipcaster. Uh, take that stamper down and, you know, just completely neutralizing that. Two down on the side of 1500 V-Bucks and Chewitz Mafia is able to just keep holding onto the zone narrowly. Uh, but the flink from one of the splashes, this is the, kid, the second time we've seen them do something like this. It's going to be super effective. They're going to be able to take out the bow before going down themselves and get a, to neutralize the zone. Chewitz Mafia is still control and their penalty is almost up here. Yeah, and as we speak, we see again the machine just using its fizzy to bombard everything. I mean, it was kind of... Um, wait, yeah, it was kind of nerfed, but only with uh, sub resistance. And with that, Chewitz Mafia actually gets um, the lead uh, just like that. And we see another Zipcaster being kind of utilized, and we see it picking off um, the bow. And the machine actually gets the Zipcaster and just kind of gets some revenge for that uh, beautiful, beautiful bow. And 150 V-Bucks doesn't really have the special to their event for now. And Yeti is kind of being picked off by that, like they didn't get picked, but 
They were kind of forced out of that area by that bow, since they got a lot of damage. And Jewett's Mafia actually seems to get the recap like this, and 150 VX now has a 29 penalty. And we used to see a lot of counter specials being used on the side of 150 V-Bucks. And Chewitz Mafia actually has some number advantage. But the Zipcast, uh, wait, not that Zipcast, uh, the Spatana server is not really trying to go down with them. But it did get picked off. And right now, 150 V-Bucks actually got us a uh, player advantage. And Chewitz Mafia actually tried to use some specials, but they didn't really do anything, sadly. The first time they approached this 20 point mark, they were denied by Chewitz Mafia. But now, as they do it again, they, they do take the lead. They are uh, getting some crucial picks on Chewitz Mafia. They are two down. Uh, last one is quickly going to go, and that is going to be 1500 V-Bucks. Looking really rough for them, they are able to take a strong hold at the beginning, uh, then got put on the back foot by Chewitz, but were able to take it back right at the very end and take game one. It was a very, very close one, though. Yeah, I agree. And also, like, my smoothie just sabotaged me. I immediately choked on it on the second the set began. I can't anymore, Weave. You're dying. Don't die on me. I can't do a solo cast. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wait to see what these teams counterpick, but they are pretty evenly matched. Uh, in terms of what map modes are going to work for them, maybe uh, a little bit more aggressive on the side of 1500 V-Bucks, replacing that slower, like slightly, slightly slower bow for a, a bit more aggressive Splatana Stamper that can kind of go in with the Zipcaster and all that, all that fun stuff. But we're going to see how it goes, how, what these teams pick, etc, etc. I'm excited for this though, it's, it's been a really close set so far. I say so far, it's been one game. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't kind of decide on that right now, but I definitely agree that this match was really close. I mean, it was like only three points off or something. And I'm actually excited for the counter pick. Please be Zones Flounder again. <laughs> yeah, Zones Flounder, I can see you working out. Uh Bow, like we saw Chewitz do really well on it last round with the the bow being able to put a lot of pressure over that difficult geometry. Uh, just so much advantage. I'm a big bow fan. I'm a I'm a tri stringer propagandist to be honest. It's one of my favorite weapons. It's just so unique. But we do see them go to Undertow Spill, it, which is a very interesting one. One I don't see too often. It is, like Fonder, it is double zone though, so there's a little bit of similarity. Yeah, I feel I feel like that is definitely true. And also. I'm like one of the three people that actually like Zone's uh, Undertow. I mean, objectively, it sucks, but I actually like it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's interesting. There's a reason why we don't see it in too many map lists, and that's because there are a lot of better Zones maps. It's okay. The Devil Zone, once again, it's not my favorite. It's so stally at points, and you can kind of, it just takes forever to hold. But it takes forever to cap. It's it's so rough in a lot of circumstances, and that's why we don't see it. But it is solid. Uh, it's an interesting one to watch because of the way that it splits your team up. You know, you see, you ca it's kind of like uh, Splatoon 2 Snapper in a way, where you kind of have to split your team up because there is that big divide in the middle, and you can't just immediately assist a teammate even though you're like two feet away from each other. But we're gonna see how this goes. Already, we see Snipes up on that perch. Gonna be count, uh, you know, kind of pushed away by that crab tank, which is very well popped here. Gets the pick on the bow, which is going to be crucial in this first hold here. Chewitz Mafia got like 9 points on the board, but that's not going to matter, as it looks like 1500 V-Bucks has a much more solid uh, kind of hold here as they go into it. Already they take the lead. We are seeing picks being traded, but it's much more contested than it was. Yeah, I agree. And right now, uh, 150 V-Bucks does have the lead on this. But we see Chewitz Mafia using the tri stringer to get uh, the kill away at 5.1, and they actually got a pick like this. And 150 V bucks, we see this Botana Stamper just kind of being a little sneaky, and they do get a pick right now. And they just kind of use that burst bomb combo to base uh, the other team out even more. And then we see the Zip Caster really being uh, aggressive like that, but the machine actually kills it like this and just goes on on the right. And we see the other machine on the side of 150 V bucks using um, Booyah Bomb, like that they get the zone again, and Schwitz Mafia really doesn't have that much time left because the timer is only on 25 right now, but 150 VX actually only has one person left on their team, and the Spatana Zipper is just doing everything it can to give jumps and to just uh, stay in that mid path, even though it's on their own right now, or like not anymore, as we see right now. It is going to jump out, but this is what I was talking about, even though Schwitz Mafia 
had a decent amount of control, enough to capture the zone on most maps. It, they just now, about five seconds ago, were able to cast the zone and get that penalty applied. And now, they're not even taking it down, they're just barely able to keep it stalled here as the Zipcaster gets one pick, gets almost two picks before being forced to recall, and now mid is in uh, 1500 V-Bucks control yet again. We've seen how they're being able to snowball, they've seen how they're, you know, kind of be able to coordinate and disrupt the enemy team that Stamper doing a ton of work, but it's going to get picked off by this crab who gets a crucial double. It's three down on the side of 1500 V-Bucks, and this is once again going to be true with Mafia. It's time to go in, and now it looks like they have a solid hold, and are going to be able to actually start taking down this timer and start contesting 1500 V-Bucks. Very impressive lead all the way down to 21. Yeah, and right now 150 V-Bucks is so uh, in a critical state because they got picked off so much they only have like the, the splash of matic left, which just kind of uses its crab tank to hopelessly trying to get some control over the map and just, you know, going to the right and try to pick off that tri strike uh, not that tri strike the tri streamer maybe. But we just see that Chewit's Mafia really has a lot of control of the map right now. And we just see them just desperately trying to get a get picks or just get the zone uh, entirely and we just saw the Zipcaster getting one beautiful pick and just like that it seems like 150 V-Bucks actually got the recap which is really strong for them because now Chutes Mafia has a penalty of 49 which is a really big penalty especially because they have like 12 points difference which is not easy to work off. Yeah, so close and yet so far if Chuos wants to take the lead they have to work through that 50 point penalty which is going to be no easy feat. We saw how long it took for them to take that, uh, they were able to hold it once they actually got it, but it took a long time for them to establish that hold. There are going to be flanks on the right, they have pressure coming from every direction it seems here, and uh, as players are respawning, uh, 1500 V-Bucks is using their special to come in, the staff are going to disrupt them and make it take longer for them to you know, roll out, just being a major disruption. They are going to go down, but this is time that's ticking down. Uh, only one member left alive, which is going to be you know, fantastic for Chewitz, and hopefully now that they've gotten into mid, now that they stalled 1500 Vokes and denied them the KO, we're going to see if they are going to be able to tick through that massive, massive penalty and get themselves a lead back in the last minute of this game. Yeah, and we already see the Smetana Stamper being picked off by, I think it was a machine, and then the machine got picked off by the other machine, and we just saw Chewitz Mafia's Tri Stringer using Killway 5.1 and also getting a pick with that beautiful snipe right there. And uh, Chewitz Mafia does have some really good control right now. It's kind of a back and forth in this, I just realized, because they both, like both teams, have some really strong pushes. But they certainly just get, like, interrupted by a lot of special usage. And we see, again, the Zipcaster trying to get that Tri Stringer to kind of force a uh, die, but it doesn't want to. It's just kind of playing around that balloon. And we only have 20 seconds left. Right now, Chutes Mafia really has to set up a strong push uh, in order for them to get the lead and win this uh, beautiful match right there. It's really just chaotic in a way because it's so aggressive. And we see the Booyah Bomb on both sides. There's a crab tank on the side of Chutes Mafia. They have to cap the zone right now or else they don't get this. And they actually did cap the zone, but right now it's already it's very back and forth. It's so chaotic right now. And we see Snipesy, uh, or Snipes, just trying to take a really aggressive position, trying to hold all of mid basically, but they are going to get uh, kind of really pressured and threatened by the Zipcaster here. Exactly what Zipcaster is best at doing, and if they don't regain control of this zone right after it gets neutralized, they are going to lose overtime. 1500 V-Bucks caps the zone and takes game two as well. They really do want their V-Bucks. Yeah, they spent 1500 V-Bucks into the tournament. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, really, really great game there. A lot. You mentioned it in the middle. There's kind of a flow of the battle where there were really strong pushes on both sides. That is kind of like a big game of tug of war. Uh, insane play from both sides. We've seen <laughs> the the kind of feud between the stamper and the tri stringer. The odd one out of those comps uh, being the only not well, I guess stamper is pretty meta, but the odd like non shooter, non machine weapon of their comp kind of go against each other a lot. Uh, I mean, the, the zip caster versus the backline, it's a tale as old as time. And as we go back to Splatoon's Inkblot, a map that you are not too fond of, we're going to see if Chewis Mafia can take it back or 1500 V-Bucks have won their, uh, you know, take the taking the set by storm in a 3-0 fashion. Yeah, I feel like the Splatana Stamper may be a little bit better on this map. I feel like it's a fine map for a zip caster. I'm not too sure though, to be honest, because 
there are not a lot of like poles that they, they could jump off. I feel like we should have picked Wahoo for that. The famous Wahoo pole. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like Spotana Sniper could look really cool in this map, even though I'm still not a big fan of this map mode. Uh, Treasure are also notably pretty good on this map, and that is why they counterpicked it, I have to imagine. Uh, you can, behind the box, you can put a lot of pressure onto the plat. You can sit on the floor and just shoot bombs above. There's a lot of things that you can do to really make it so that you can just put a lot of pressure while you're still safe. But as the UI says, it is match point. This is going to be Chewitz Mafia last chance to, uh, you know, make it and uh, not have to make a little bit of a loser's run here if they want to continue in this tournament. We'll see how it goes. Both sides staying the same. Chewitz has not changed uh, from what we've seen. They've not changed their layout once and the 100 V-Bucks is set to match that pace here as we go in, as the zone, uh, these teams are fighting it out, not trying not to get the pick themselves, but trying to get their specials. Crab Tank going out, Tri Strikes going out from the other side, trying to pressure that Crab Tank out, and it's just a lot of chaos here. But 100 V-Bucks look like they're going to get the first cap and be able to start pushing in further and taking down their timer. There's a lot of battling going on right now. There's one on the side of, uh, like, on the right side, and 150 V-Bucks already has three people down, one is forced to jump out, and Chewitz Mafia already has a really strong start up with this, as they do have some control, the uh, Splatana Stamper is kind of being forced out by the Tri-Stringer, it's just kind of, they have a rivalry going on, I feel like, the Tri-Stringer and uh, the Splatana Stamper, as we see, they just kind of attack it again, it's, it's kind of fun to watch, to be honest. Yeah, uh, so Stamper gets picked up themselves, but not before taking out the Tri Strike user, which is going to be a big pick. But something notable that happened there in that first minute, we saw 500 V-Bucks, we saw them basically get set up to do what they've done time and time again take the zone and then move on further and get a really strong hold. But it looks like they moved in a little bit too fast there at the beginning, and they allowed Tooth Mafia to get this really strong hold, and only now are they really starting to contest it. Two down on the zone. Uh, Tri Strike's coming out. It's only that bow really on the zone as one of the other members get picked and they jump out. This is finally 1500 V-Bucks chance to push in and they let Chewitz Mafia get all the way down to 18 points. It was barely even a minute in at that point and now we're going to see how they have to respond. They have three specials on the board including that Stamper's infamous zip caster that we've been seeing. Machine has a Booyah and the Splash Magnetic has the Tri Strike and we're going to see just a ton of specials go out. Try, uh, this Stamper really tried to get a pick on this machine and it's going to end up getting taken out the themselves as the machine pops a bio bomb to try to get the zone back with the crab tank still going to be watching like a hawk still going to be making it incredibly hard for Chewitz mafia to get back out and this is i think where we might see 1500 v bucks maybe take the lead if uh Chewitz mafia does not find a way to respond here in like two seconds it could be a ko even yeah I, definitely i feel like i i was about to say that Chewitz mafia already sent a really strong message to the other team but right now, 150 V-Bucks actually sent a, an even bigger message uh, as a responding to Chewitz Mafia as they only got, got down to 6 and they have a 69 penalty. Hee <laughs> hee, funny number. And uh, Chewitz Mafia... <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, 150 V-Bucks got the recap and Chewitz Mafia just utilized some Tri-Strikes and we see that infamous Zipcaster going for the Tri-Stringer again. I feel like that's just the uh, forever rivalry. And right now, there are two... Uh, people on both sides, but the machine on the side of uh, Jewish Mafia gets picked up, and they uh, get the uh, 150 V-Rex gets the recap, and we see both Neo splash matics that they have, uh, the Tri-Strike, I feel like both could just use it at the same time and it would l literally do nothing. <laughs> and we also see the other splash on the side of Jewish Mafia getting the Crab Tank, and also almost getting a pick, they got the pick. And like that, 150 Rex does seem to have um, uh, a numbers disadvantage. And 150 Rex is so close to KO. It is so close. They only have six points left. The Tri Strike's going in. And oh. with that, they won this 3 to 0. That was, it was really looking, strong. It was looking so, so strong for Chewith there at the beginning. But unfortunately, they just were not able to get back out once 1500 V Bucks really sunk their teeth in and decided that they wanted to hold the zone. Ugh, that was uh, really rough to watch, but absolutely, you know, props to 1500 V-Bucks for being able to hold out so strong. They've, I think, won their way into, uh, that's gonna be, yeah, uh, they've won their way in, into Grands, and so now, uh, Chewitz Mafia has a chance to, I think it's a rematch, actually, against, uh, 
potential rematch against one tricks as losers rackets is going to proceed oh. on but uh, we'll see if that ends up happening as we go on to losers uh, losers bracket as we take a short break before we get into it Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long-timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today!